Hello everyone. Today our project is on smart building management using machine learning. So with the help of machine learning, we have already trained this Raspberry Pi with all the sensor threshold raw values. So what are the sensors means? An IR sensor for identifying the presence of a person in the room, and uh, and a gas sensor and a DHT eleven sensor for here. Which will identify temperature and humidity. So we will consider only temperature for this. I mean, for this uh, turning fan and on and off. So along with this sensor, we are having LDR sensor, which uh, identifies the presence of light in the room. And this is our main Raspberry Pi microcontroller board, which has the, all these four sensors inputs and controls the outputs of uh, CPU fan. A ventilator indication uh, with the uh, DC motor and lamp. So, and also the other components that we have used here is a power supply board and three more relays for controlling these loads and an extension power supply. So, to turn this device on, we need to connect a. 5 volts to amps adapter in this plug. So we are having 5 volts and 12 volts board. 5 volts is being connected to this uh, power plug of uh, Raspberry Pi. 12 volts is being connected to this power jack, which is being given to all the loads. And along with that, we need to connect this bulb voltage to socket. So by connecting all this, we can turn on this device. And later, we need to connect the Raspberry Pi board to our laptop. So initially, you need to change your mobile hotspot credentials as username uh, project1, password as 12345678. And after that, you need to install two softwares in your uh, laptop. One is Advanced IP Scanner, another one is VNC Viewer. So with the help of advanced IP scanner, we can scan the IP addresses of the Raspberry Pi. And in order to connect this board, uh, we need to paste the IP address in VNC viewer. And in VNC viewer, while connecting, it will ask for administrative credentials, enter username as Pi, password as Raspberry Pi, so that you can able to connect the Raspberry Pi board to your laptop. So the execution, how to execute the code, you will see in next video. So once Raspberry Pi gets connected to your laptop, your desktop screen will look like this. On desktop, you have a TK13064 folder. Inside that you have main code.py folder. So this is the main code for our project. Right click on it and open in Python 3 idle. So and then click on run and then run module to execute the code. So initially the IR sensor is in off state means no person has been detected. So the condition is like when the person is not been detected, whatever the LDR sensor value might be, the light is in off state. So when person detected and LDR is of low density means light will automatically turn on and when there is no person means it will turn off. So now I am placing the person indication as here the light will be in on state and then when the brightness is too higher light will automatically turn off. So that is the condition for uh, LDR sensor and IR sensor. So the next sensor is uh, gas sensor to detect the toxic level. So for toxic gases, I have used sanitizer. So you just need to place this part on top of the perfume or any alcohol sanitizers like that so that uh, it can be detected. You can see that with blinking of two LEDs on top of that sensor. So when person is there and the toxic gas is been identified means the ventilation will turn on which indicates here the small DC motor turning on. So now no toxic gas is been present 
and person is there means ventilation will turn off so for temperature changing and all i am using soldering rod for uh, identifying the change in temperature you can see on monitor what the exact temperature is right now it is like uh, 30 degree centigrade So the condition is like when the temperature crosses 32 degree centigrade, the CPU fan will turn on to cool down the entire room. So the though the temperature is been raised above 32 degrees centigrade, the person should be there at that time in the room. Then only fan will turn on. So let me put an object to indicate that. So along with the light, we are also having a fan turning on to cool down the room temperature. So now I'm removing this heat. Right now still the temperature is around like 34 degrees centigrade and person left the room. Means fan will also turn off along with the light. So all the sensors operation which activates the output load will turn on according to the um, person's uh, presence in that room. So this all been done using the machine learning in Python. So that is the working of this project. Thank you. Want to complete your academic project from home? Here is the solution that is Takeoff Projects. First company in India providing virtual assistance for academic projects. Project assistance providing for BTEC MTech PhD students. Our specialities. Latest projects. Virtual project assistance. 100% student satisfaction. Affordable price. Expert guidance. Online project delivery. We are sure your search ends with takeoff projects. <music> www.takeoffprojects.com. Call plus 919030333433.